Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to take a look at the One UI 6.1.1 which is based on Android 14 and it's ported from the Galaxy S23 FE which is available for our Galaxy S7, the S7 Edge, the Note 7 and the Note 7 FE. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is the One UI 6.1.1 based on Android 14 and it's ported from the Galaxy S23 FE, which is the fan edition phone. Uh, let's move into settings. As you can see, the settings UI, One uh, UI 6.1.1 UI. And about phone, as you can see, Galaxy S7 and model name SMS71B, uh, which is the Galaxy S23 FE, I guess. And you can see One UI version is 6.1.1, Android 14 and we do get the july 2024 security patch so this is the firmware uh, security patch uh, of galaxy s23 fe also this is the android 14 easter egg so guys 2025 is full of surprises first we have the galaxy s7 getting the one ui 6.1.1 based on android 14 and then we have the galaxy s8 getting one ui 7 uh, which is based on android 15 the samsung latest offering and if you have the Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus and Galaxy Note 8, you can check out this video, which you can install a One US 7 on your Galaxy S8 series phone. So that is really crazy. You can check that out. Now let's continue with our Galaxy S7. So guys, let's start with the lock screen because that's what we get first when we unlock the device. Uh, not unlock, but uh, just turn on the device. So that's the lock screen and the timeout is a bit quick. So let's move straight away into uh, getting into the uh, lock screen settings and when you long press the lock screen you will get this long press uh, like the lock screen settings sorry not the long press now you can click in here and you can also change the clock uh, face style as you can see you can choose between a variety of clock face style also these uh, four dots uh, you can uh, use it to move it anywhere on the screen and also increase its size and decrease it so you can do this and you can apply colors and you can apply fonts different fonts and you can configure it however you want uh, and whatever you want to you know on your uh, uh, lock screen if you want no data you can also choose this it will just wipe out the clock and you will only get the notification so these are the customizations available to the lock screen with one ui 6.1.1 now guys let's take a look at the home screen so this is the home screen we get the weather widget which i have applied here and it looks great then these are the icons and the apps we get so these are the apps it's totally uh, de-bloated so we don't get a lot of bloat in this phone uh, with this rom and it's totally really nice that you can you know install a lot of stuff on your galaxy s7 and other s7 series devices or the note 7 series devices and you get a lot of ample space to install your favorite app so that's really nice you also get kernel su next by default but it was not opening or maybe there's something to install with that and i have no idea about kernel su how to use that so i just uh, simply installed the kernel su apk the latest one and it gave me the super su access which was needed for some apps and which you guys will also need which is the root access which you will need to configure some stuff after the first boot which i'll be talking in the later part of the video so make sure you watch the whole video now let's take a look at the quick settings and this is how the quick settings panel look we have a good uh, dimmed background with the uh, dark mode on as you can see when you turn on the white mode the dim background gets a little bit uh, whitish layer on that but when you turn on a dark mode it gets totally dim so it's good to your eyes now the white mode also works fine in the quick settings but overall the ui like i prefer a good battery life on this phone like it's it's a very old phone and it will be able to handle one ui 6 smoothly but there might be some issues with that and heating problems so in order to resolve them or maybe you know minimize them you have to turn on the dark mode and save a bit of a battery for that and this is uh, how it looks the quick settings ui you have always on display you have all the basic samsung stuff working fine and then you can change with this icon you can change and hit the top and the full uh, all the icons the different icons you have you know you want something quick actions you want in your uh, quick settings then you can configure that now let's take a quick look at all the settings we already have made a video on one us 6 dot one dot one on galaxy asset you can check all the features i have covered that but yeah let's take a quick overview 
in all the settings so this is the connections and you have all the connection stuff now guys those having a dual sim device like i do have a dual sim device my sim card is not working and it does not mean that your sim card will also not work your sim card might or might not work also it depends on which sim you are using so i'm using the vodafone sim and it does not work in this rom and there's an issue with dual sim uh dual sim models so you have the single sim model your sim card will work so don't worry about that and if it does not work you have to report it down below in the comment section that's what you want to do with the feedback so these are the options for connected devices uh going back you can use the gestures too you don't have to use the hardware keys then these are the notification stuff notification pop-up style you can set it to default or the detailed one which gives you some extra details of the notifications then modes and routines you can set if you are an avid user you have different activities then this is sound and vibration Inka. you can configure that later then you have display you have dark mode you have scheduling of the dark mode and uh, going down you have outdoor mode with extra brightness too so when you're going outdoors you use the outdoor mode for a good view and we have eye comfort shield uh, to use the phone at night and font size and style uh, which you can configure if you want it in a better one then screen zoom you can also increase the screen zoom size then screen timeout easy mode we also do have edge panels which i have uh, enabled where it's not visible in here let's let me show you that okay there it is uh, it's quite laggy but yeah it works fine it's 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 a very old device so it's fine if it lags a bit but yeah that's that's how it is you have seen in the camera uh in front of, like the video has been shot and you can see that's how it lags so this is the uh, battery usage panel and it only says fire 12 minute left like i still have half of the battery left but yeah it's our legendary galaxy s7 which is going to heat a lot and it's going to drain a lot of battery so make sure you charge it on time then we have wallpaper and style customization then we have themes home screen lock screen uod car stuff you can change a lot in that and some security stuff advanced features which we have ai which is advanced intelligence and you can use it with a lot of apps and you can just you know check that you have already checked a lot of videos but yeah you can do that we have screen recording screenshots and you can you now just download the language for which you want to use the ai for ai you have digital well-being and yeah loaded pretty well then we have device care now, I don't know if this is the Chinese uh, device manager, but yeah, this is the normal, I guess, the uh, basic device care. And it will show you a summary of your storage, memory, battery, and your production. So yeah, like your device has been taken care of. And that is it for all the uh, features, like the options present in the One UI 6.1.1 with the Galaxy S7 and the Note 7 series. So guys, now let's take a look at the bugs. Now the first bug I faced uh, when the device boot up was there was no SIM card, no SIM service. As you can see, even on the lock screen, it says no SIM, no service. So I don't know why it is not detecting my SIM card. I have a Vodafone India SIM uh, inside this and it's not my SIM. So I don't even know if it's been recharged or not. So that is some different issue. But yeah, if you have a dual SIM device, your uh, sim issue may be like there may be a sim issue with you the network may be bugged so you have to you know just try it out and if it works for you that's like you are a lucky guy that have sim working and if not then like me you have to use this uh, just on wi-fi and uh, if you have the single sim variant the sim will work fine like i don't know about volt but the sim might work fine there like people have reported now the next bug is camera like uh, camera is not working at all now just don't expect the samsung camera app to work even if the camera is fixed in the later versions because as you can see it says just fail to open camera and samsung camera app will never work like it will take a lot of uh, stuff to make it work on the galaxy s7 and it's not worth it because this phone is too old and like uh, we are getting the One UI 6.1.1 experience is a very great thing and really grateful to the developer. So thanks to him. And uh, you can check out his name in the description. Uh, I don't know how to spell it out. Sorry for that, uh, brother. But yeah, I don't know how to spell your name. So I, I don't want to spell it wrongly. 
so i have given you credits in the description so yeah also you can guys you guys can thank him okay, you can also join the telegram group uh, for the galaxy s7 active development uh, you can check if it's you know what the next uh, further updates are and uh, yeah for all other stuff you can go there and you can also report the stuff here that's that like that's not it's not a big deal and also guys now one more bug which i face it's not a bug but it's a problem that the device heats a lot like the galaxy s7 heats on all of the custom roms even on the stock rom like if you charge this device it will heat like crazy so you have to charge it with powered off like uh, even with powered off i did not get the animation but uh, yeah you can try it with powered off or you can also use the uh, TWRP recovery to charge the device and it will not heat that much but if you turn on the system and if you charge the device then it will heat like crazy and you might get uh, you know uh, you can you guys might get afraid that this is going to like go burst boom and it won't like you just go to the freezer uh, and freeze the device so that won't cause any issues to the to the motherboard like i have been using the samsung phones since a lot of years and i do that every time they get heat a lot so yeah and that was all, all for the minor bugs uh sorry the major bugs which i have faced now i don't feel something else is a bug but there is a problem when you boot the device your status bar will be only half visible or like you know maybe cut off that uh in some part so you have to use kernel as you have to just gain root access you have to use this app which is called as pixels which i'm using you can use any other app to set and as you can see it will uh, tell you the current dpi it has been set so you can just copy this one uh, the custom dpi uh, i have named it 440 because i tried to set it 440 but it did not work that well so just uh, you know set this uh, you can uh, you know copy the numbers this is the 2560 into 1440 our display size uh, display resolution and the dpi size should be 500 to able to uh, you know look uh, take the status bar to look it better and uh, yeah this is uh, like it looks small you can increase the font size if you have issues while reading the status bar but uh, that's how it is you have to use your samsung s7 if you want to enjoy the one ui 6.1.1 so guys that was it for the one ui 6.1 uh 1.1 for our galaxy s7 and uh, the note 7 series now if you want to install this you can watch the later further part of the video and if you already install it because i got late with this video had some different work uh, which i could not manage and then the video got delayed so sorry about that and i also pushed out the one ui 7 for galaxy s7 video uh, earlier than this one so sorry about that too because i thought that uh, you know that was more important like it's one us 7 in the galaxy s8 uh, it's like not the importance part but still it was i was like full of surprises so yeah this is even this is a surprise the one us 6.1.1 for galaxy s7 and i hope you guys will enjoy uh, the one us 7 and one us 6 on your galaxy s7 and s8 uh, for the s8 you can watch this video and for the galaxy s7 uh, to install you can have to watch the further part of the video Hey guys, just wanted to let you know that I'm going to split this video into two parts. So this will be the overview part. This is a part one and the part two installation will be the like everything about the installation. Obviously, I have shot the video and I have split in. So yeah, I'm just going to show that in a separate video and you guys can check that out. Uh, like the video will come out after uh, the publishing of this. Uh, you guys can, you know, if this video gets published uh, at night, uh, like in the Indian started time night then you will have to wait for tomorrow morning or like the next day morning it will be published the part two and if this video gets uh, published uh, in the morning then you will get it after a few hours or at around 5 p.m in evening uh, that's Indian standard time so you guys can like calculate it's about eight to nine hours of a gap between these videos so that will be it and yes guys that is for that is it for the part one overview if you guys like the video press the like button if not press the dislike button also you guys can subscribe also leave your feedback in the comment section and any help you want any guide you want you can drop down in the comment section all the links all the guide and all everything is the information everything is down below in the description so make sure you check that and goodbye guys see you with the part two